What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Dev Slopes. And today I wanted to bring you guys kind of a different style of video. And it's kind of something that was brought to my attention and I'm sure you guys saw the title, saw the thumbnail and were like, what the heck is going on here? But I just want you guys to really listen to everything I'm about to say. Please listen to the whole video because we're gonna dive into a lot of stuff that's gonna give you guys a lot of clarity about what exactly this is about. So. Something was kind of coming to my attention the more I started looking at, you know, your guys' comments and DMs. And when I think about, you know, what we do at DevSlopes, we teach and we prioritize web development. And we always try to push web development as a learning path for people. And I see a lot of the comments that are saying things like, don't tell people to learn web development, don't tell people to learn JavaScript, people need to learn what they're passionate about, things along those lines. And we get tons of these DMs, tons of these comments of, you should learn this, you should learn what you're passionate about, passion, passion, passion. And I agree 100%. But what I realized is that there's a big difference in why people actually are learning how to code. For example, you have people that are passion followers. Game development. A lot of game developers who get into game development, they either A, don't know a lot about the industry, or B, if they do, they choose it because of passion. Game developers, true passionate game developers, know that there's not a lot of money in game development and it's a lot harder to land jobs, but they do it anyway because that's what they're passionate about. For example, if you were to go and work for a AAA game studio, you're not gonna have a great work-life balance. You're gonna be working rigorously without getting a lot of pay and without getting a lot of time just to, you know, freeload what you wanna do. And that's where like passion does come into play, right? Like same thing if it comes to like artificial intelligence or machine learning, they understand that the hours are gonna be a lot harder within the industry or it might be harder to get jobs or it might take more to get a job. Like you need to learn math skills. You might even have to go to school, but it's passion. And I 100% agree with that. But where a lot of people get confused is they think everybody gets into programming because it's their passion. And that's not entirely true. A lot of people get into programming because it allows them to have a change of lifestyle. It allows them to have a change of lifestyle. Maybe there's somebody who dabbled with code in high school, but they work at a full-time job in a warehouse, or they're a teacher, or they're working at a manager in a restaurant, things along those lines. And maybe, you know, these jobs, while it can be fulfilling for some people, maybe they're not fulfilled. Maybe they don't like the hours, maybe they want a different lifestyle where they're not having to go to a traditional nine to five job. And maybe they just want some more flexibility and freedom within their life where they can also get paid a lot more money to do it. And what that comes down to is they're not getting into programming because it's their passion. They're getting into programming because they see an opportunity for them to live the lifestyle that they want. Now, tie this back to web development, right? It's like, okay, well, why are you guys preaching web development to these people? The reason for that is because web development does does proven for a fact have the easiest barrier of entry barrier of entry into the coding job market and that's huge right that's huge so that means for people who are looking to make a lifestyle change why would you not want to go through the easiest path to get that lifestyle change for example fields like game development you, you can't really work remotely you have to work in the studio you're told to pretty much work a lot of hours. The languages, the learning curve for the languages is much more difficult than learning within web development. So it makes sense that web development would be the perfect route for these people because they have these three things mainly. They have a very up-to-date and in-demand job market. And I know what you guys are gonna say, a lot of things about AI, things along those lines. We've made tons of videos covering that stuff. Please feel free to check those out, dive into a lot of the facts. but. The industry is very much in demand. The learning curve is much, much easier than the learning curve with other fields. And overall, you still get to have the lifestyle that most people are looking for. And what that, what I kind of brings to mind whenever I talk about it is the digital nomad lifestyle. Like being able to work from anywhere or work from home, being able to work lesser hours, not having to go to a job where you're kind of slaving away, you know, we get a lot of people in the program that come from, you know, truck drivers, warehouse workers, oil field workers, and these are the people that, you know, blue collar jobs, they get tired after work. They're exhausted 
after work. And so yeah, the idea of changing their lifestyle and moving into tech sounds amazing, sounds amazing. But these people aren't worried about game development. These people like, you know, maybe they are, but it doesn't matter to them as much as getting a job in the industry and living the lifestyle they wanna live. And so that's kind of the premise of this video and that's where I feel like a lot of people get confused is yes, yes, when it comes to passion, passion is key. Like if you're passionate about something and this is where your heart is, I completely understand and follow that. But if you're someone looking to make a lifestyle change and you're someone who's looking to just have a better work-life balance, be able to come home and not have back pain, be able to work from your laptop and sit at home all day and you know, kick your feet up, slam out some code, attend meetings, like this is, this is the lifestyle people are looking for. And if that's you, then of course you're going to want the quickest route to get you there. And the quickest route that is also holds the most job security. And that's kind of what it always boils down to. Web development, you have that job security. It's high in demand in the industry. And that learning curve is just so much easier. So much easier. It's not necessarily bashing on passion, but I'm just, I get really, not necessarily irritated, but it's just kind of, I, had to, I have to kind of cock my head a little bit and think, okay, what are these people thinking we're trying to do? Because it's almost as if people think we're just trying to shove information down people's throats to sell them into the program. And I don't like that idea. I feel like we've always tried to maintain a presence on this, on YouTube and on all our social platforms of genuinely trying to help and assist people in the best ways we know how. And so when we look at everything from a holistic view, it's like, okay, Web development is the easiest barrier of entry. Web development allows people to live the lifestyles that they've been wanting to live. And web development is awesome and you still get to build cool things. So that's where, you know, that all kind of comes from. And I hope that clears up the air a lot. If it's not necessarily telling people, don't follow your passion. If you're passionate about games, don't learn games. But you have to also understand those kinds of things might not be as important to people as living a lifestyle they want to live. This isn't to tell people like, don't comment this stuff on the page, things along those lines. No, because I do get it and I do agree with you. But I've also just realized more and more programming is becoming less about being a passionate developer and becoming more about adjusting people's lifestyles to live the way they want to live and I don't see a problem with either of the two you know if you're passionate about doing something within programming I'm for you if you want a better lifestyle I'm for you and that's kind of why we spread so much information about web development and teaching web development and why we believe that field is the best barrier of entry when it comes to wanting to become a developer for the lifestyle purposes. And at the same time, there's people who literally just are passionate about writing code and they don't really care what field they're in as long as they can you know, provide for themselves and do something that they love. And web development also offers that opportunity. So those are just some aspects to keep in mind. And like I said, if you're someone who's interested in learning how to code and you're someone who wants to dive into the field for a specific reason and that reason being the lifestyle aspect, this is why we preach web development so much because it allows you to live that life. So guys, that's pretty much the end of this video. But really, I just wanted to bring this to attention and I wanted to get your guys' feedback down below in the comments for sure because this is, it's, it's almost a sensitive subject for some people and I just want it to kind of be an open channel where we can just talk about this and talk about this problem in a sense. So guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please hit that subscribe button and guys, please feel free to comment down below what you guys think, y'all's own perception of this and y'all's own experience within this type of area. That's it guys, so thank you guys so much. Uh, please hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.